Hey, you guys, and welcome back to another podcast epi. Epi two on the scene per today is Sunday, April 23rd. To be exact, yep, next week, this week, this week, next week is this week. Is this the last week of April? Sad, 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 sad. But, anyways, welcome back to Sometime Talk with, you know, me. Um, I'm mad though because I've already filmed one of these episodes, right? And my phone literally died. I'm just recording it, you know. But you know, it's cool. It's cool. It's all cool beans. It's all cool. It's cool. Y'all see my shirt? I love it. I love it so much. Like it's so cute to me. To me, her. <laughs> but okay, so I made an outline. Every- oh. Y'all, see, I'm forgetting what I, because I made an outline. Listen, y'all, listen, 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 listen. I made a whole outline of what I was going to talk about, what we was going to do in this episode. Bro, <laughs> I'm failing miserably because I I turned on that camera, I started recording, I started talking to the mic. I'm, I'm, I'm like, okay, so what we doing now? What we doing? Hey, how are y'all? Like, like I'm just, I'm on go. I'm not even... Paying attention to what I was going to do, I'm on go. But anyway, since we on go, period. But yeah, my phone had died. No, my phone wasn't die. It didn't die because I plugged it into the car. I turned the car back on. Then my phone was overheating, and I just hope it doesn't overheat this time. We're a minute in, and like I'm just scared that it's gonna overheat, and I really just hope it doesn't. You know, let's just hope and pray. Cause I have a car on. I'm gonna turn the air up. I'm not gonna lie. Cause I I last thing I want is for you know what let me do like this. Last thing I want is for is for that my phone. Last thing I want is for it to overheat and I don't film nothing. I don't get nothing done. Because this is my second time trying to record this episode. So yeah. But I, I want to start, start doing, like, an introduction for real. Like, being like, hey, LOL, sometimes I'm talking with Kyra, period, period, period. And then I'd be like, a pun. So, I have a pun for us. A pun or a joke. Either one, I guess. I guess, no, because a pun is when you, it's a play on words. But a joke is just a little jokey joke, you know. But did y'all hear about, did y'all hear about the guy who got caught with a calendar? I, I'll wait for y'all to, you know, tell y'all want to say in the comments or, you know, in your head or whatever. He got 12 months. <laughs> y'all can't tell me that wasn't funny. Y'all can't, y'all can't tell me that shit was not funny. That shit was hilarious. That when I first heard it, I heard it, um, I heard on the Ricky Side Morning Show. That shit was hilarious. Like, I bust out laughing when I heard it. Oh, my gosh. But... <laughs> Oh, girl, well, I guess since the car is still, still on, but I don't want to do it like that. Because I want this other phone to charge because I plan, I'm also vlogging, so that's like why I want the other phone to charge too, so, period. Um, you know what, something that I noticed is that this is a never-ending thing. When I record like that in an audio, it's never going to be on me. Like, I hate that. And it just pisses me off. Because I started filming first. And then I didn't press the what's name button. It's hot as fuck in here. Not me. Not me talking about it's hot. And, <laughs> like, really? I we was just talking about your phone um, overheating. LOL. But I'm actually really excited for it to be hot outside. Not going to lie. I miss having my little legs out. You know the little 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 shirts that I used to wear. I'm really excited, and like this shirt right here is like this is something I've never worn before. Like I probably wore like spaghetti straps before, but like, girl, this is cute. Like I like it. I like it. The titties is out. I'm out. Like period. Skin is out. We getting a little tan. Try to get a little darker. Cause oh child, I do not. <laughs> I mean, I love myself. Period. Period. But when I go back to my original skin tone and i'm like pale as fuck oh i hate it because like i think i look like my mama already so like when i get pale 
Oh, I look just like her for real, and I don't like that. Because my mama is yellow. Like, she's literally yellow. Like, she's literally yellow. And I remember my cousin, she said, wait, uh, my mama's name, period. <laughs> she said, uh, my mama's name is, is black. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. Is black. I thought she was white this whole time. That shit was hilarious. I feel that laughing. Um, when she said that, though, I was like, I almost like, hold on. Because, like, now I feel like I need to go and question her. Because, Brody, what's she trying to say? You Are you trying to say I'm biracial? <laughs> do I get biracial? I probably do get biracial. But, I mean, I mean, my mama's side of the family is very, very, like, all over the place. Like, their genetics, Jesus Christ. They're Native American, white, black. I'm, I'm no, because I'm really convinced that they got some Hispanic in them too. Because Caleb has a picture of him when he was younger, and when he was like a baby, and baby he looked like he is Puerto Rican or something. And I'm, I'm convinced we probably got Puerto Rican or Dominican in on, and probably from both sides of the family. We never know. I wouldn't be surprised. I remember when I was in what grade i think it was the sixth grade i was in the sixth grade and this boy that i liked he said he said aren't you dominican and i was like <laughs> i didn't know how to take that <laughs> i don't know i think because i liked him i was just like no and i, I was just like in my head like oh you're so cute like <laughs> you thought i was dominican <laughs> so i don't know <laughs> Y'all, I bought a new necklace from Forever 21. Um, Fab release, period. Check out Forever 21. Forever 21 is the best site ever, like, period. Like, at first it was Shein, where, like, you really just get stuff for fat girls, right? Or fat people, because I'm not binary. And, like, no, because I, I do it a lot, like, where I truly forget, like, I'm not a girl. But, like, at the same time, I feel like I can have those slip-ups because... Gen like sexuality gender blah, blah blah is a spectrum and like it's okay like, like I'm queer so like if I want to identify as a girl the next day I can and that's that's just on me that's that's me I mean look y'all bitches not y'all not cussing out Demi Lovato because they or she wants to be this and that every other week next week you know what fuck it I'm gonna be an arrow fuck y'all hoes anyways so, I got a charm. A charm? It says charming. That's the adjective that it has for me. This bitch is dumb. Anyways. <laughs> so, I had, I got a, I got a necklace that says Sagittarius. I was going to wear it, and I forgot to put it on. It's at home still. I'm so mad. Like, really? I can't believe I did that. But, it says Sagittarius on it. And... Let me read y'all the back. Charming and larger than life, Sagittarius is no one-trick pony. You're the very embodiment of the words "go big or go home." Your multi-trendious passion and interest, and you have a lot, have led you down many a rabbit holes and maybe even far corners of the world. With your vast knowledge and magnetic personality, it's never a dull moment when you're around. It was meant to be. Like, that part where it said, um, <laughs> not a one-trick pony like her. Like, that's what it says in my podcast bio, that I'm not a one-trick pony because, period, I'm not a one-trick pony. I'll never be a one-trick pony. Like, this pony come with all tricks, period. No, because I really want to start, I want to, I want to be a, equestrian girl but i want to be an equestrian girl like her like i'm not i'm not when i say girl like i feel like the word girl g-o-r-l is very universal okay because that's a queer word period so girl because like i feel like when you say boy boy is like boy like it's a negative connotation on it <laughs> And, like, it's it's only right for it to have a negative, negative connotation, in my opinion. So, yeah. Um, let's talk about my lover life. 
I feel like, I don't know, as a non-binary person, being queer is very strange. And like, dating at the same time, because, I don't know, it's just, I don't know, because it takes moments where you have to find like, find out if you want to tell this person, oh, like you're having good a good banter, a good conversation with this person, you're like, do I tell them now that I'm not binary? Do I tell them now that I don't identify as a woman? Because they think that I'm a woman. So like, do I do that now? Do I do that later? Do I do it next week? Do I do it next year? <laughs> not next year, because then you're just, that's scary. But like, it's just so many like, cases where people who are non-binary or just, you know, trans and queer period where they experience like bad romance bad romance no bad what's what's the word i'm looking for bad connections or like just like not a good experience you know finding love and whatnot especially like i don't know because i don't i don't think i want to be with a straight person um like I, I wouldn't be upset with being, a straight, with being with a straight person. It's just, I don't think I have the capacity to be with a straight person anymore. Like, at first, like, I think I was okay with it. Like, you know, I was, you know, getting getting used to it, you know. And I was okay. you like, you know, I feel like, I probably felt like I could, like, drop some knowledge on them. But, like, I don't know. A lot of straight people are just, like, in their own heads about a lot of stuff because, you can tell straight people about if you don't if you can't date someone who is bisexual then you're you're um biphobic homophobic basically and it's true because what what is them being bisexual have to do with anything like that literally has nothing to do with you like and it's 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 like it's more i'm gonna say both genders but like whereas common in women is they don't like that a man can have sex with another man where but men when they have when they're when it's sorry when it's the other way around for men it's oh i'm gonna have a threesome and stuff like that like it's fetishized being bisexual is fetishized so yeah but yeah what was i saying oh and that's another reason why I don't want to be with a straight person is because of that more mostly honestly I just being safe like being fetishized is just I'm already fat I'm already black and now I'm not biting her on top of that and I will never and I, I'll be real with you I'm never going to tell nobody my sexuality like I don't know it's just I feel as if you're not interested in me there's no point of you knowing my sexuality because my sexuality has nothing to do with me for real like like you getting to know me like as a person and like being my fucking friend and stuff that has oh that has nothing nothing to do with anything honestly mm -mm. so yeah I'm like i'm never telling anyone my sexuality like i'm gonna lie to y'all and be like yeah i'm straight this straight non-binary queer person over here. I mean, we've already like cleared it up in the last episode that I can't, I can't have a sexuality because I'm non-binary, and sexuality is based off of is loosely based off of gender, which is kind of, but you know, it's okay. It's whatever. I'm gonna turn the car off. I don't want my car to go dead. That's the only reason why I did that. Um, I normally would have the car off though. Um, while recording this, because why would I do that? Because I'm gonna be, I'm gonna sit here for at least like a good thirty to an hour, a good thirty minutes to an hour. So it kind of makes no sense for me to do that. So that's I just want to fuck my car up, and I don't want to do that. My car already, my car. Oh, go day. She already does too much. Okay, I remember when I first got go day. I was so in love with her. I still am. You know, this is my baby. This is my pride and joy. I'm always going to love her. I'm always going to stick up for her, too. Like, per. <laughs> but, listen. 
But listen, bro, I thought I heard something. Like, I thought I was scared. I am at a grocery store. So, <laughs> so it's going to be people, like, looking at me like, is she okay? What is she doing? Well, they are going to say she because that's what they see. But I forgot what I was talking about. Oh, Go Day. Go Day has put me through hell. Has put me through hell and back. Okay, I love her. With all my heart, you know, I will still go for her no matter what. I most definitely will. Mm -hmm. But girl, I want to say it was like, like the month after or the second month after having her. The check engine light came on, and I almost lost my shit. Like, I didn't know what was going on. Like, I'm telling you, before I even actually started driving for real, like, before I got my own car, I used to freak the fuck out. Like, any emoji pop up on the little thing right there, I used to get scared as fuck. Like, oh, I used to, oof. I used to get so scared. Like, I used to be shaking in my fucking boots. Like, I would call my mama and everything and be like, Mama, I think I messed something up. Like, um, um, the the filter and oil thing is on. Um, did I do something wrong? And she'd be like, Kyra, it just needs oil change. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, when she say it like that, it's like, I just freaked out for no reason. But, like, I didn't know. Like, why would she do that? Like, why would she relax like girl no because i was in the car with my best friend shandrea and she was like i'm sure i'm pretty sure it's nothing kyra <laughs> and i'm just freaking out it was nothing though so thank the lord but back to love life um i don't think i like i mean i've only liked like last year i've only liked two people which is funny because i was in a whole relationship last year that's so weird to think <laughs> like i was literally in a relationship last year and like i honestly be forgetting that i was in a whole ass relationship last year i did not like that dude like this is gonna sound so so oh i bet no i like three people last year anyways it's gonna be so bad when i say i'm about to say i was playing dudes like i literally was just playing old dudes like I did like him. I'll be real with you. I, you know, I had a little crush on him at one point in time. But then, Chuck trying to play me. Like, I found out he was talking to two other girls, right? And I said, you know what? I'm just going to fuck Shorty and go. And that was the plan. That was the goal. I got in a whole relationship with everything. Plans, you know. I have sex with this man. <laughs> It's so weird saying the shit out loud. Oh my god, I was going to play this nigga, and I ended up not doing it, and I ended up press breaking up with him. I was gonna be his friend still though, but like, he was a little hurt when I broke up with him. So I was like, I was like, yeah, I think we should just be friends. And he was like, he was all sad and shit. And I just felt bad because, girl, I really don't like, like, I I knew maybe the fourth or third day of us dating that I did not like this man. <laughs> I just wanted to play him. <laughs> that's so bad. But I promise you, bro, that sounds so fucking bad. But I'm not like that no more. <laughs> I promise. I am a changed non-binary person. <laughs> I am changed. Me is changed. <laughs> I am a changed non-binary. <laughs> oh my god, that's so sad. <laughs> but, LOL. So, the other two people that I liked. First one, you know. He was actually bisexual, you know. And I thought that was cool. Cause I never, I never, and he was black too. Like, never met a bisexual black man before. You know, I'm sure they exist. You know, in Mississippi, in Mississippi at least. Like, I never, I never met a bisexual black man in Mississippi. And one to be in my age range, like, girl, that was, I was shook. I was like, what? And but that was a crash and burn. So it's okay. You know, dust yourself off, try again. And then the other person, oh my gosh. You know, it's a little white boy. He was, 
you know, he was he was cute to me and stuff. But like I don't even claim him. Like I really don't think I liked him. I think I had more of a friend like crush. Like he was cute, but at the same time I truly and only really wanted to be friends with him and just get to know him and you know, be his friend, like period. Like that was more of what I really wanted was just to be friends with old dude. But it didn't work out like that. So, I mean, I'm not upset, and it's okay, because, like, you win some, you lose some. So, I don't know, because, y'all, listen, I, I said, I just asked him he want to hang out. And he said, <laughs> you know what? I'm not even going to say what he said. But, yeah, I'm, like, I'm good. Like, I don't, after the first one, after the second one, actually, I don't think I want anything. Like, I think I like being with myself because I'm be real with you. I don't really like myself like that for real. Like a lot of times when I finally do get in that depressed state, because I do have depression, and I get my like my episodes of being depressed and whatnot, and like I literally start hating myself. Like, like when that video hasn't even dropped yet, but when it does, y'all better go watch it. Y'all better go watch it and comment and just you know smash the motherfucking like button because y'all don't be liking my small videos and I'll be like, why? And then y'all don't be commenting. Why? LOL. <laughs> but, y'all, during that baseball trip, baseball game or whatever, I felt so fucking ugly. Like, I, like, weeks before that, like, I was literally in a depressed episode because I want to say it's, it came from when I was thinking about my grandfather. My grandfather recently died in November. And... I don't know. It didn't hit me at the time around his death that he was dead and gone. You know, I mean, like, yeah, like, it, you know, it was there. Like, I was, you know, sad or whatnot. But, like, it's not hitting me like it is now because it's like, like, wow, like, I'm never going to see him again. Like, so, like, it's, I, I do be a little sad and, like, be wanting to cry. But, like, I just, I then I, I look at it as, because, like, I know when I die. I don't want people being sap and sappy and stuff over me. Like, I want y'all to have a fun time. I want y'all to turn my ashes. Because, I don't know. I don't know if I won't. I really think I'd rather get cremated. I don't know. Because just thinking about my body being underground, decaying. I just don't know if I want that to happen. So, I, I don't know. I think I want to be cremated. And y'all turn my ashes into confetti or something. Like, like live up. Like, have a... Oh, this is a shadow. This is burnt. Live up. Have a grand time. Like, like yeah, I'm dead. But I'm alive in spirit, per. <laughs> I'm so funny. But, yeah, that's, that's what I want. I just... I don't see the point in being sad. Because it's like... We're all put on earth to die. Like, we're all going to die at some point in time. So, it's like, there's no point. In, there's no real point in being sad. Because, like, no one lives forever. Unless you're immortal. And I don't think it's any, you know. Oh, I forgot their names. Because I'm about to list names from Vampire Diaries. I don't know their names. Is that bad? Because I used to love that show. Y'all see how fast I get off topic. But, yeah, I forgot what I was talking about because I'm like, okay. but I'm not, mm -mm. I don't be liking myself on a lot of days, but like today, I'm trying to force myself out the house and, you know, do something, you know, live it up, you know, period. I want to go, I'm trying to go, um, thrifting because I just want to go thrifting. I want to like try on some new clothes. I want to. Not even new clothes. I want jeans. Like, I'm so ready to throw away the jeans that I have in my house right now. Because I can't fit none of them. Like, I, I really, I literally cannot fit any of my jeans anymore. Like, they're too big on me. And I just need, I just need a whole bunch of new stuff. And I ordered some stuff from Old Navy. And they don't come here till this week, actually. But I feel like that's just, it's too long to wait. And I want some new stuff now, okay? I could, you know, order some stuff from Shein. Because I can wear Shein's, like, pants and shorts. Maybe even Kroger. 
Kroger. I'm at Kroger. That's why I said Kroger. <laughs> Maybe even <laughs> Fashion Fashion Nova or Forever 21. <laughs> I just can't believe I just said Kroger. <laughs> Maybe Walmart. You know, Walmart got some, you know, got some nice little cheap stuff. Um, I remember my mom used to, you know, do a little shoppy shop in there at one point in time. Then I think I, be, I think I got too big and I couldn't fit their clothes anymore. Then as we stopped, started shopping at JCPenney's, maybe I'm not sure, but yeah. <sighs> rest in peace to my love life, though. Like I don't even know if I can say rest in peace to my love life because I don't know. It's cute, like. Like, I could just, like, I don't know. I don't know because I can't say I don't have a love life because, to be honest with you, I can go anywhere and, like, just be standing there and, like, somebody would probably, like, come up to me and be, like, you know, just start talking to me, just flirting with me and shit. And, like, I'd be, like, me personally, I just be, like, I don't be knowing what's going on. Like, I just be to myself, just chilling. And then later on, that like, one of my friends would be, one of my friends would be with me or something. They'd be, like, you know old dude was just flirting with you, right? And y'all know, oh my god, bro. I be wanting women to flirt with me. Like, why do not why do women why do women not flirt with me? Like, I be so pissed. Like, I know you see me over here in my non binary is my non binariness. Why are you not flirting with me? Like, you know I look good. I know I look good. Like, come on, Shawty. Like, let's flirt. Let's let's do it. Like, let's talk about I'm not gonna say what I was about to say. <laughs> But, like, let's do this, shy Like, for real, for real. Anyways. But, it's hot as hell. I'm not gonna hold you. Like, I'm actually kind of hot. I'm happy I don't got layers on, for real. But, like, I'm getting a little hot. I'm getting a little sweaty. <laughs> y'all, I love this. Like, I really do love just sitting here just talking to y'all for, like, so-and-so minutes so-and-so hours no because yo some people actually do podcast episodes for like two or three hours and i just i don't know i maybe like they sit there and do interviews or something because like can't nobody just sit there and talk to a camera that damn long like uh uh-uh like at least an hour but two or three girl it's I'm, i'm i've been filming for like 29 minutes now and i'm already ready to give up like what? <sighs> Let's see. What else am I gonna talk about? Oh, y'all. Can we can we finally talk about it? Like let's let's finally talk about how trash Euphoria season two was. This shit was ass. Like y'all can't tell me y'all really enjoyed every given moment of the chaos that was that second season. Because the first season, okay, yes, the first season, it had chaos. But it also had a plot. It also had emotions. It also had an actual story being told. We go into the second season. This show was supposed to be about fucking Rue having a drug a, a drug addiction, right? But we're over here with fucking Cassie, fucking Maddie boyfriend. And she over here like, I'm not a bad friend. I'm not a bad friend. I love you so much. Bitch, the mom was you fucking her nigga. <sighs> like Cassie, oh stop! Because that's that whole thing just pissed me off. Like, I can't, I can't even get mad at Cassie because girl, Sam did your ass dirty. Sam did the whole season dirty. Like I knew Sam was just, you know, this bad writer, this bad director. Period. Well, I, I his narration is kind of cute. You know, I like how they they film the episodes. But he is a bad fucking writer. If I do say so myself, like. Mm-mm. I knew that shit was going downhill when he did that Netflix movie, Malcolm Marie. That shit was so bad. Like, people be saying that it was good, but no, it was not. Like, y'all be so for real. That shit was not good. And y'all know that y'all, y'all wrong as hell because y'all know that shit was not good. Y'all, y'all gotta know. admit, season two, I'm about to say season four. Season two of Euphoria was trash. That shit was ass. Like, it didn't make it didn't make any sense and it didn't it didn't fluctuate with the first season if we're being for real we're being for real for being honest like girl i don't know what that was Mm-mm. Mm-mm. 
But I think what we're gonna do is only thirty minute episodes because let's be for real, talking to a camera for an hour is entirely too much. And I don't even have a real podcast set up. Like, okay, so like I told you guys in the last episode, I graduated in the year of 2021 2022 is what i was about to say wow that's crazy 2021 is the year i graduated high school and i'm 20 i'm 21 i turned 22 this year i got held back in sixth grade you know i don't you know it's nothing it's nothing like detrimental to me like it's not something that's upsetting me but it's i always have this lingering thought in the back of my head because i didn't go to college i'm not going to college not that i know of might go to college next week and just don't know but i it's always this never ending thought in the back of my head of i should go to college am i gonna go to college and i just i don't know i don't know like it's always in the back of my mind and it's just i always had this conversation with my best friend or like just someone someone random and like yeah i'm gonna stop recording though because I just saw this fine black man. <laughs> I just saw this, saw this fine young black man, and like, I don't even think I'm a weirdo. So <laughs> I'm just playing, I'm just playing, I'm just playing, I'm just playing. But I'm gonna stop because I've already addressed that. I think 30 minute episodes are the episodes I need to go for. And it's gonna be a little over 30. Like, I mean, it's gonna be 30 minutes, but it's gonna be like 32 or 33 minutes. So, yeah. I had fun talking to you guys. Can't wait to see you in the next podcast episode. Oh, and let me can I let me I need to explain my um my upload schedule. So it's going to be podcast episode, um, YouTube video, uh two week skip, one week basically is off. The uh, the week after is a podcast episode. So this is that's how I'm gonna do things on my channel. Or I might have times where I might do two uploads a week. We never know. It just depends on the editing, honestly. But, you know, bye guys. See y'all in the next party. Mm -hmm.